Can you check whether we could able to share the screen, sir? Sorry? Sharing the screen option is enabled for you, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Just a minute. Let me check. Yeah, I think uh, I got the option. I can, yeah, I can share my whole screen. I can share my VBD. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I got it. I got it. I hope my screen is visible too. Yes, sir. It's, yeah, it is visible. Yeah, sure. Yep. Um, I think there is some noise. Yeah. So how about I think uh, tomorrow you are winding up, right? The entire uh, FDP is going to end by tomorrow, right? Hope I am not wrong. Yes, Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yeah. Okay. So Anubha is also there in the call. Anubha, are you there? Okay, I think she's not available. Um, should I need to wait for a couple of minutes or shall I start? I can only wait for five minutes, sir. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Sir, shall we start the session, sir? Ma'am, I think uh, someone asked me to wait for five more minutes. Sibi, sir? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible, sir. Ma'am, shall we wait? Shall we wait for five more minutes or shall we start? I'm okay with any anything. If you want, because the meeting has only 12 in the count, right? Yes, sir. For the count only have six. Sir. Okay, fine. Okay, ma'am. Not, not an issue, ma'am. We can wait for five more minutes. Not an issue. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, shall we start the session, sir? Sibi, sir, am I audible? Yeah, yes, ma'am. No, no, no. Ma'am, Akila, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Now it's sorry. I think uh, uh, someone asked me to wait for five minutes. Hello? Ma'am, am I audible? You can start, sir. No issue, sir. Yeah, okay, fine ma'am. Yeah, sure. Sir, is that I'm, I'm audible, sir? Yeah, yes ma'am, you're audible. Yeah, now it is okay, sir. Fine. We'll start the session, sir. Yeah, sure. Yeah, happy morning and uh, welcoming you all for the second, I mean, two-week SPPC on augmented reality and virtual reality a future technology which is organized by Computer Science Engineering Department of SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Vadapayani Campus. I'm very delighted to welcome and introduce our today's speaker, Dr. Sibi Chakravati Sedhuraman. He received his PhD from Anna University in the year 2018, and he is currently working as an associate professor in the School of Computer Science and Engineering at Belur Institute of Technology, Andhra Pradesh, since 2018. And he was a visiting professor and a member of Artificial Intelligence Lab at University System of New Hampshire, USA, during 2019 and 20 in the Department of Computer Science. Furthermore, he is a coordinator for artificial intelligence and robotics research center at VIT. 
He is the lead engineer for the project Visu, an advanced 3D printed humanoid robot. He is an active contributor of uh, open source community and lead writer in the top sec uh, security magazines such as Pentest Mac and E Forensic. And he is an active reviewer in many reputed journals, including IEEE, Springer, IET, IGI, and Indari. Currently, he is an associate editor for the International Journal of Cognitive Informatics and Natural Intelligence. He is a recipient of DSC Fellowship. Uh, with this uh, small introduction, uh, we have a uh, thus we have a distinguished person with us to share a role and the importance of computer vision and artificial intelligence in the industry 4.0. And I would like to convey my heartful gratitude to Dr. Sibhi Chakravarti for accepting our invitation for presenting this session. Once again, I'm welcoming you, sir. And I'm handing the session to you, please, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. So thank you so much for the introduction. So yeah. So I think uh, uh, my voice is audible, right? It is clear, sir. Because yeah. So my screen is also visible. Yeah. 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 Fine. So uh, good morning, all. So today uh, we are going to discuss a lot, and uh, I'm just going to share my experience uh, on uh, computer vision and uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, I'll also be sharing some of uh, the insights what we are uh, doing in our research lab, right? And uh, today I'm going to talk on computer vision and uh, AI in uh, Industry 4.0. And again, I'm Sibhi Chakravarti here. Right. So, uh, adding to my introduction, so I also uh, uh, own uh, a company, a product-based company called uh, Mugam, and here we have uh, uh, two products. One is for uh, uh, a facial recognition-based attendance system, and other one is a facial recognition system uh, using surveillance uh, camera feed. Right. So, these are all the two products which we have in our company, and I'm the founder and CEO of the company. So, adding to it, uh, I'm basically from a security background and I have a passionate towards artificial intelligence and I'm also a certified uh, analyst SOC, right? So, and again, I'm also uh, a key uh, instrumental in developing an in-house robot called uh, Bisu. So, uh, a completely uh, additive manufactured uh, unit, uh, which we developed uh, uh, in our VIT AP campus. And uh, it is uh, considered to be uh, one of uh, India's finest uh, uh, robot uh, which is completely 3d printed and uh, the cost of uh, the entire robot is uh, less than 1.75 lakhs so uh, which has uh, high uh, and modular uh, technologies in integrated to it right so and i'll be showing you uh, a demo of the same right so and again uh, this is a general disclaimer right so what and uh, i completely uh, uh, take the full responsibility for any inaccuracy in my talk and uh, whatever the entity and materials which I'm going to display throughout my presentation is completely self-developed my, myself. And few things are taken from the internet. And uh, whatever the information which I'm going to share is only for research and educational purpose. And uh, and most of uh, the presentation content, right? So like demos and all these things, some are from public. And uh, I'm just uh, using as it is. And it is also for only for educational purpose. And uh, uh, some of the entity which is... Uh, are related to our research lab, right? So those are completely patented, right? So those things are also included in the presentation. So a uh, few things on few contents, I can't explic explicitly say what exactly and how we did. So, but I'll show you at max demonstration with a, a complete live, right? So that's how I plan to go. And uh, this is the agenda of today's talk. So first, initially I'll be covering about uh, Industry 4.0. And then slowly I'll move towards cybernetics and I'll also be talking about uh, how artificial intelligence and uh, computer vision plays a major role in uh, mixed reality or in the reality world, right? So, and again, uh, I'll also be talking about uh, how these technologies are completely modular and how it can be integrated along with uh, the recent realities. And uh, again, I'll be also covering uh, the applications which we are working on our research lab. So here we, we have few uh, community of students who are working on uh, this mixed reality and we have some uh, few uh, demonstrated products as well. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll also show you a live demo of that, right? So now let's let's come to the point of uh, industrial revolution, right? So uh, can someone say exactly where we are now in industrial revolution? Can someone say exactly where we are now in industrial revolution? Because everyone is talking about uh, industrial revolution, right? So industrial revolution does not start at one year or two years back. It started a very long ago, right? So can someone say where exactly we are now in industry, industrial revolution? 
Any guess or any idea about it? No, no idea. It's the fourth industrial revolution, sir. Yeah, it's a fourth industrial revolution. It's great to hear from you, ma'am. So exactly, right? So we are now, or we are presently now uh, enjoying industry 4.0. Right, and industry 4.0 completely the machines are having ability to take its own decision. So that's what uh, the very highlight, right? So now uh, let us see how the industrial revolution gets transformed, right? So when when you are when the industry 1.0 started, right? So it's always started with uh, mechanization, right? So the mechanization and again uh, most of those uh, um, mechanical instruments runs with uh, uh, steam and uh, water power as the major source. Right, and after uh, after a yeah, long struggle, right? So after uh, a long struggle, and uh, when the electrification uh, entity comes into the picture, so they slowly transform from industry 1.0 to industry 2.0. So where they go with uh, a complete mass protection, so where they have a lot of assembly lines which is completely electrical electrical powered, and these mechanizations are also automated. And uh, again, not automated, they are also uh, started to run on this electrical energy. They switched from mechanical energy from mechanization to again electrical right so and again from industry 2.0 when the transformation happened right so the whole mass protection which is operating on electrical power gets automated so here is the part or this is the place where the computer systems comes into the picture right so there they implement a lot of uh, robotics related things and again uh, uh, the automation goes in a very higher level and computers comes into the picture and these computers uh, plays a major role in uh, uh, handling uh, the production units that's how it goes on but when 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 it comes for the transformation of industry 4.0 so in recent times so maybe uh, 3 to 4 years back right so all the systems right so when the technology gets completely transformed when the mobile gets boomed right and when the mobile computing was emerging right so a lot of other modular technologies like cloud right so cloud big data big data analytics video analytics so a lot of lot of domains gets open and again the entire transformation switched to complete smartness so these machines what we have enjoyed with the automated electrified machines right so with uh, which uh, which uh, which is completely controlled by the computers right so now it has its own ability to take a decision so everything goes autonomous right so there comes the point of uh, cyber physical systems iot and again lot of lot of fancy contents are coming up now now they are talking about artificial intelligent based uh, uh, internet of things aiot they are talking about aiot and again uh, internet of medical things right so so even medical devices are about to get more smarter and smarter day by day right so recently uh, uh, two months back there was a news which was hitting completely in the social media stating that uh, so uh, the particular user who use apple watch got some cardiac problem and he got fainted and the watch itself called 911 for emergency help right so this is this is really what we are now enjoying industry 4.1 and okay everywhere you go right so the smartness was there right so smart watch right so where you can uh, do whatever you want on your watch itself it has its own camera it has its own uh, functionality like calling again sms reading notifications right it even it includes your biological uh, it records your biological and collect and analyze your biological parameter like your heart rate right so bp how much how much uh, 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 water content your body is having and how much uh, uh, oxygen level your body is supposed to have right so if there is any anomaly automatically these systems are having ability to make a decision so that's what really the industry 4.0 is right so and again i added to this it's not only stick to only this particular domain so industry 4.0 has expanded and almost every every uh, domain or every platform where you go right so there comes the mission which is more smarter and smarter in future when it is industry 5.0 right so it will be like what we have seen in the movie like irobot or in uh, terminator so that's that is going to happen right so everywhere you go machines will be there machine standing will machine standing in front and it, it is going you are going to interact with completely with machine right so there will be only human intelligence only for operational right so wherever there is a execution it goes only with the uh, machine intelligence that's how it is going going to happen in industry 5.0 right so now now right so whatever, whatever we have seen in the terminator movie we are going to definitely witness that when there is a transformation of industry 8.0 or in industry 9.0 so I, I think so it may happen or it may not happen but for seeing that anyway we are not going to be there right so but definitely it is going to happen right so and again so now uh, I, I just want to kick start with how this industry 4.0 is different from 3.0 because there is not much difference right so both the both the lines operates with the computer control system goes with computer and it systems robotics right so both are same but when it comes to 4.0 it has 
a particular keyword called smartness. And if you ask me a question, so how this smartness has been incorporated, right? So that's what I just want to go with the uh, one of the real and uh, very important use case, right? So which attracted me a lot, right? So this is a real use case which has been deployed and currently it's in operation, right? So that's what I'm going to discuss now. So this is this is the one. So on seeing this particular image which I depicted here, right? So what exactly can you infer from this? Can some can can someone say what exactly this use case is about? What is this place at least? What is this place at least? Uh, I think uh, this question is not that much tough question, right? So it's it's easy. It's uh, on seeing this particular image. What exactly your brain is saying saying to you or saying to yourself? Um, am I uh, am I the one talking? So physical and cloud. Okay. So someone is uh, Leo sir is replying that physical and cloud. So basic, basically, yeah, it, yes, exactly. So it's basically a shipping yard, right? It's basically a shipping yard and you can able to see the containers and uh, this this entity is called as a crane, right? So these cranes responsibility to is to lift the particular object from the ship for loading and unloading. That's the purpose of this particular crane on the harbor, harbor yard or in the shipping yards. That's how it goes on, right? So now the question is, right? So if you, if you take uh, these uh, ships, right? So these are all, uh, 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 how to say it? these are all not uh, these are all some bigger vessels which have which carries multiple containers right so the count will more than go goes more than 500 and the ship is also it's not an a, a small one it's a very bigger one so but you know right so this is really an important use case where you have to look into how the transformation of industry 4.0 comes into the picture so how uh, how the industry 4.0 uh, plays a very major role uh, in a technology transformation so the, the use cases, right? So when when you are loading the containers into the ship, right? So this crane has to manually get operated, right? So human intelligence comes into the picture and this human intelligence has to decide where the particular container has to be placed, right? So what happens when you are placing the container, right? So not all the containers are equally weighted. So some containers will be having a higher weights. Some container will have a very less number of weights. And it depends on the material which the container is holding or which the container is having, right? Am I right or wrong? It completely depends on the weight. So now what happens when the manual intelligence, when they are having the same cranes in industry 3.0, right? Sorry. When they are having the same cranes in industry 3.0, right? So when the human intelligence is deciding where to place the container, so they place based on the company in order for quick and easy shorting. So now what happens, right? So when you are placing the in irregular weights on the on the ships, right? So it completely reduces the entire performance of the ship, right? So the average costing of fuel exceeds like anything, right? It goes for a certain amount, but what happens when they transform the entire uh, crane into a smart crane, right? So this was completely reduced and per day fuel efficiency was reduced to for nearly $1,000. If it is a thousand dollars per month, they can even a particular ship can save up to thirty thousand USD. You calculate for a year, one lakh twenty thousand USD, which is a very huge amount, right? So, and a shipping company will have a lot of ships, and if you calculate, it will be of very higher order, right? So now I'll tell you how it how this particular transformation happened in Industry 4.0. So they made the entire crane into smart, right, and autonomous. So what happens is whenever the ship is is getting hold for or getting hold for getting loaded, right? So what exactly this particular crane will do is a crane will can completely generate a 3D model of the ship, right? And again, it also estimates what, what's the container weight and what and it will take the complete characteristics and perimeter or parameters of the container and the crane decides where it where these weight has to placed. So and again it does it does a complete optimization in the appropriate placing of these container weights. And finally, they, they achieved up to a better performance and uh, efficient fuel utilization. And uh, the costing was, as I said you, right? So per day, they could able to save up to $1,000. It's really it's really a good solution, right? A very simple solution, right? So generate a 3D model. Now you have a complete 3D model of your ship, 
right? And uh, the crane decides where this particular cont container has to place because on lifting it, it estimates what's the weight exactly, and it decides where when we are when the particular weight gets placed on this particular place in the ship, so the efficiency will be increased. That's how the artificial intelligence and smartness comes into the picture. So it's really a really a impressive use case, right? So now the second the second thing which I I, I would like to uh, talk more about is about cybernetics and uh, how this cybernetics plays a very major role in Industry 4.0, right? So when you are talking about Industry 4.0, these are all some of the applications of Industry 4.0. So like autonomous robots. So you can have a vast and advanced simulation. Then you can go for multiple system integration, Internet of Things, cybersecurity. So cloud. So 3D printing. So additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Then augmented reality. So that's what here we are, right? So this entire uh, workshop completely focused on augmented reality, right? So this is one of the prime entity of Industry 4.0, and all all together, big data, yeah, very huge data, right? Because it's not a, it's not about the smartness. When the machine gets smartness, right? So it has to get trained with a huge or enormous amount of data, right? So for that, you need to process a big data, right? So that's that's what it was completely depicted in a single picture how the industry 4.0 and what are the components or what are the major or prime area of industry 4.0. So, and again, one of the major transformation is cybernetics, right? So when you ask me a question, what is meant by a cybernetic, right? So it's basically a study of a control of any system by means, by means, means of a technology or by, mean, by using a technology, right? So the approach, how it goes is you can understand the entire functionality and entire processing of a system. Right. So, and again, these systems are completely having an ability to receive, store, and process the information very effectively, and it can have its own control also. That is what uh, the core essence of cybernetics. You have a machinery, you can have a complete control of that machinery by means of your technology. Just by means of your app, you can control a machine. Simple. Right. So, what, what exactly we are having now, right? So, a simple, simple example is day to day life, which we are using a surveillance camera. Right, so you can operate your surveillance camera just by means of your mobile app. Simple, you can turn your camera, you can tilt your camera, right? So simple, right? So whatever the data, even sensor devices, right? So watch from all the variables, all your data gets stored to your cloud and the cloud process it, whether you have any abnormalities or not, right? Cybernetic systems, right? Hardware, altogether software, data collection, agents, processing, finally inference, that's how it goes on. Right, so this is this is going to be all together. We are going to be along with the technology, which is completely a cybernetic. That's how it is going to right. So on the research, which currently going on, right. So it it is going a complete advanced level, right. So BCI, it's a typical example is BCI, right. So when BCI gets integrated with this cybernetic technology, right, the machine understands what human is going to think, right. That's going to happen in future. Definitely in industry 6.0, you can witness that, right? So maybe just two decades. So after 20 years, you can able to see, or even you can able to infer what other person is thinking. That is also possible, right? So and a lot of POC has been already demonstrated by a lot of researchers, right? Pranomistry, right? So he demonstrated the concept of sixth sense, right? So it started where from there, right? So now the second thing is technology landscape, right? So altogether, when you're talking about the technology, right? So the technology nowadays, right? So everything goes as an integrated system, right? So you have a lot of sensors and these sensors connect to different network and these sensors can able to collect a lot of data, right? And once the data gets collected, these data can be sent or ported to any of your centralized units. It can be a cloud or your remote server. It's up to you or it's up to the particular technology service provider. And then once the data gets collected, right? So it has a very huge number of data. So from the data, the system is about to learn and analyze what exactly it is going to convey, right? So based on the analysis or analysis, so they can able to generate an alert if there is any anomaly or if there is any suspicious things found on your data or if there is any irregular pattern, right? So it can able to alert or the system can able to advise you Right, so that's what, that's what the ability of the current model and technology is about, right? And again, all together, even the system can optimize itself. It can go for its own self-learning ability. And when it comes for a decision making, it can able to learn itself and it can make its own decision. That's how it goes on. A typical example is 2017, Facebook shuts down, shuts down its own artificial intelligence server. The reason is the machine started its own creating its own language and it starts its own communication. 
which means that the human who is going to look into the particular computer right cannot able to understand what computer is talking because it created it, its own language right it, it it got witnessed in the year 2017 now we are in 2020 to see the advancement how the machines are going to right and again altogether based on all these entities from whatever the data you collected whatever you have learned and whatever the system decides and whatever the system made itself to learn right all together all this data further can be used for used as a trend analysis and these trend analysis can make the particular system to transform itself and to innovate with the new technology that's how it it is going on so everything when you when when, when you go to anywhere right so everyone is talking about artificial intelligence deep learning right it's all about just a data right so without data these technologies won't exist really to be honest right everything goes with only your data right so we have a huge number of data right so now even if you look at the current scenario of what how and how we are operating on right so per day how, how much how, how much amount of data you are spending so almost everyone is using two sim with two sim enabled with at least three gig of data back each sim which means that six gb out of six gb at least a person is averagely spending five gb per day it's what's the current stats according to the indian citizen right so it's really we are generating a lot of data and there are there comes the technology which is going to utilize our data and it is going to make a decision right so that's how it goes on the second and again the next thing which i would like to talk about is robotics the robotics is completely a smart machines which is going to exist everywhere right so you if you take the current situation robotics education sector healthcare logistics vehicle space forest fire fighting right soft robotics even fighting robots are have been deployed in war zones right so robotics is going to be everywhere and uh, ai i don't need to say for this because everyone is using this particular buzzword wherever it is even even for mixi they are using ai as their prime factor and their advertising washing machine has its own ai fridge has its own ai everything goes pervasive now right so ai is going to be everywhere so now let's come to the point of the next thing reality right so now the point is reality is also going to be everywhere so if you take if you take uh, any any machine learning model right so a real time information overlay is a, one of the prime factor right so for example so if you open your let, let, let me tell you a simple scenario so if you take your mobile phone and if you open your camera and if you are facing or if you are trying to take your a selfie right so a yeah, automatic face detector will be overlaid on your face right so it is one of the best example for reality so reality usage in compute in in camera and again computer vision comes into the picture for tracking and detecting your face right and sometimes some cameras even estimates what age you are or what age the particular person is even those information will also be overlay gender gender information right so real real time information overlay is one of the prime factor second thing advanced simulations so plenty of simula plenty of things are happening via simulations only because when when you take uh, the applications like space right so aircrafts right so even military zones at tough situations right so those things cannot be in real time when 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 you are training someone right so you can't go with uh, uh, a huge investments right or uh, when you when it when it comes for a defense defensive technologies right so those things cannot be happen in real time because it can it, it it can leads to potential uh, expense as well as for the life right you can't bear it so for that they go for advanced simulations right so there comes a virtual reality and augmented reality even sometimes mixed reality into the picture right so what are, when when you take the soldiers right so the 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 most sophisticated uh, army army base right so everything nowadays they have their own health monitoring system they have their toggles which are completely smart when they wear automatically they it, it is completely a smart toggles right so what when they are wearing when, when they are wearing and when they are seeing uh, a particular place right so it estimates the total distance where the checkpoint where they have to reach next right so a lot of information where or whom they want to communicate and when the person is moving the, the the colleagues or the other soldier is moving right it can estimate who the particular soldier is so these many information the particular glass can give even it can go with the night visions also night visions thermal right so it's all together thermal plus again a no actual feed combination or 
actual field muxing right so possibilities are there right and engineering designs the plenty of engineering designs are using reality the one of the typical example is the present day technology digital twin right so it's it's one of the real thing and again the other other aspects which uh, i can say is in most of the time in biomedical right so in medical field right so they generate uh, or they create a lot of uh, uh, medical devices right so they can uh, these devices can be operated uh, via your virtual and uh, augmented or mixed reality right so on entertainment so i, I don't need to uh, explain about this entertainment because everyone knows that uh, entertainment is a major sector where the augmented reality and virtual reality comes into the picture right so for virtual reality also you need at least uh, you need a a particular experiencing hardware like right? right so but when it comes for augmented reality there are a lot of apps available right so even even uh, uh, kids nowadays uh, can able to uh, 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 generate a model like a, a wild animal and they can place it on the place where they want to right and uh, they can even uh, save those images right so plenty of uh, plenty of uh, applications are there for entertainment so how this uh, reality has been used in uh, the entertainment right so and one more thing one more use case which was really going to be a important use case right i would like to discuss here is metaverse how many of you are aware of metaverse how many of you are aware of metaverse how many of you are aware of metaverse we had about this in one of the sessions the metaverse sorry ma'am could you please repeat again i couldn't able to hear you sir yeah yeah in last week one of the session we had about this uh, metaverse okay so can, can 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 you say what is exactly this metaverse uh, uh, we can have an uh, virtual we can create in virtual environment yeah it it i can uh, say it as a second life yeah it's a second life right second life of everyone right it goes in a complete virtual in virtual reality augmented reality mixed reality so everything comes into the picture right so whatever whatever the real world which you are having right so the same environment you can have it on your virtual right so that that is the core uh, uh, as per the layman's uh, definition of a metaverse is right so metaverse is a uh, facebook product and now it is coming into limelight so did the other speaker talked or uh, uh, shown any demo related to metaverse uh, trailer no actually sir. sorry no sir okay 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 fine so i i can show you a, a small demo on uh, metaverse okay so okay so uh, one of the use case i would like to uh, share with you is uh, recently there is a marriage happened in tamil nadu especially in tamil nadu <laughs> asia's it's it's really asia's first metaverse wedding have you heard about this news how many of you are aware of this news huh? how many of you are aware of this news asia's first metaverse wedding actually i It, have handled this session sir i have uh, i have uh, uh, what is that mobile mobile app development so okay. in that i have uh, i have used this metaverse app for developing a small game development uh, okay okay so now i also uh, interested about this uh, first wedding metaverse wedding. okay 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 that that's great okay right. <laughs> okay it was happened so, uh, february 6 yeah it happened in february 6 yeah. recently just uh, it's not even uh, yeah, a week Sunday, i think um, yeah it's just four days back it happened right so these are all the couples who wedded right so to be honest you know so this is the idea uh, which i had in the year 2010 during my btech so surprisingly uh, whatever the idea which i have so what what could be the next generation uh, uh, social networking would be like so even i to be honest i'm not lying or i'm not uh, exaggerating the things i had the same idea of what facebook have implemented right so metaverse but uh, i was thinking about the possibility but they but but now it comes into the reality so, so once i was having a project in my mind uh, how to bring back uh, the dead person into life because i lost my father and during uh, all the special occasion uh, i i am missing him a lot right so what what uh, could be the technology which can help me to bring back my father at least for wel welcoming the known guest 
that's what i thought and i just i just uh, i started uh, with i started with the project with the, which can integrate with the mixed reality and uh, hollow holograms but uh, i couldn't able to complete that but uh, now uh, i can able to see the technology is com completely getting advanced now i have opportunity to bring back uh, live to my dropped project that's what i was thinking so it's really good to see right so now uh, now let us see one of the uh, demo for uh, metaverse so i think uh, 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 the basics of uh, uh, 2d and 3d uh, everyone knows that right so how you can project a 2d into a 3d so when you are doing this particular transformation there comes the option of 360 how many of you agreeing with me that that is the that's the core point of a reality right that's the core point point of a virtual reality so 360 you can able to enjoy yes or no as being a human when you are in a real time physical environment it was completely a 2d projection but when you go the same thing on a metaverse right so the entire 2d projection gets transformed in 3d but when you are on reality when you are seeing it it is on a 2d yes or no so that is that is what the one one point i just want to show you a live demo right so of how a 2d projection can be converted into a 3d segment right so this uh, use case i, uh, I i'm just uh, taking uh, uh, for a uh, yeah, simple photograph and how i can transform this particular photograph to a yeah, 3d projected a uh, metaverse environment where you can uh, uh, witness a yeah, complete 360 of the particular 2d scenario that's what i'm going to do now so i think my workflow is clear to everyone so now uh, for that uh, i'm just going to use uh, my uh, collab right so this is this is a typical architecture of uh, or this is a typical workflow of what i'm going to do now so i'm just going to give a input scene and from the input scene i have a gan network and this gan network generates a depth map out of it and from the depth map i just project the projection matrix from the projection matrix i'm going to generate a 3d point cloud and again i'm going to apply a filter to remove the oh, the whole sky area so why i am just going to remove the whole sky area in the sense right so i just want to figure out the the total perspective of the particular objects that's that's the reason even even if you want to have it as with a point cloud it's up to you you can keep it it's up to you okay so this is what uh, a typical uh, example of what i'm going to do so how a two dimensional uh, image gets into a 3d projection right so this is how the exactly uh, the metaverse is also operating and working on on, on transforming a 2d uh, image which you are going to upload into a 3d projection right so so now uh, i'm just going to my, mount my drive so now i'm just first executing my uh, first cell right right so just a minute i'll connect to my collab so it's getting connected just give me a minute yeah so now uh, i think it's taking some time yeah now i got connected to my uh, runtime so now i'll let me check my runtime whether it is uh, a gpu accelerated or not so now uh, it is gpu accelerated yes, so me, now sir. let me save the settings and sir? now let me run the yes, first me, yeah yes ma'am sir only your ppt is visible to us sir oh, oh okay okay sorry just a minute um oh, sorry now it's visible sir yeah yeah, thank you. Right. So now uh, let me run the uh, first execution of my. So now it is asking me to mount my drive. So because all the data I'm just uh, I am just using it and fetching it from drive only. So now I'm allowing. So now. Uh, so give me a minute. It, it will take some time <laughs> because it has to render a huge amount of data and again wait files and everything. So now uh, let me switch to the directory so now uh, since i am using a package called open 3d so i'm just going to install it so these are all some of the uh, known known steps only so it, it does not take uh, that much time yeah so now i think it's getting installed
Okay, so now uh, I am upgrading some few packages. So I just want to restart my runtime. So let me go for recalling. Right, so now let let my runtime gets restarted. Right, so it I think uh, it gets restarted. So now let me uh, start the process again. Yeah. So now. Yeah, now I'm done. So now I'm installing uh, one more uh, package called uh, uh, MMCV. Okay, I think uh, I'll install the second package. Yeah, I'm successful. Okay, now, yeah, I'm in current. Okay, so now I'll be executing this. Okay, so, Okay, so now uh, I'll I'll show you how it works, right? So just a minute. Uh, yeah. Right. So this is the data which I'm going to use. So. Uh, Kitty is uh, used for autonomous systems and uh, uh, for uh, uh, smart uh, mobile robotics. So uh, this is the particular image which I am just going to transform. This is a just a 2D projected image which I am going to just transform into a 3D, 3D right in Metaverse. That's what uh, I'm just going to do now. So now let me close it and let me run it now. So you can able to see here. So these are all some default, right? So uh, the data is completely fetched from my drive since i'm using collab so i just mounted my drive so i it is just fetching it from this particular repository under data there is a test image called uh, kitty test image and uh, the model path uh, again I, I it is just a pre trained model so i'm just using it right so now let me run it <clears throat> so for execution it will take some um, couple of minutes because it has to, uh, the model weight around uh, some 600 MB. So it will take some time. So just give me a minute. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> Okay, just throwing me with the error. Okay, just a minute. So yesterday I went for multiple tries. So that's the reason it is just, uh, just give me a minute. Yeah. So now I'll go for execution. So for uh, again, I'll do one thing, so I'll take my offline also, because if anything goes wrong in my online, so I'll execute that in my offline and I can show you. I just max, at max I'll try to go with the collab. So if 
it is not working i'll uh, go in offline why it is throwing me on my commented section it's commented commented but why it is again throwing me error here okay so i'll do one thing so i am surprised to see this weird error because this session, this particular line was commented but uh, still it is throwing me error and I'm, I'm i'm surprised to see why it is throwing me error on a commented line so okay let me not waste the time so let me go in offline so let me call my anaconda just give me a minute so let it get loaded yeah so now my anaconda navigator page yeah so okay fine so let me open my runtime will remind me later okay so usually i i'll go with a virtual environment because uh, most of the time uh, i don't want to disturb my current or existing setup because the current existing setup goes only with uh, network security so that's the reason i just don't want to mess up the things so i'll go with my virtual environment so i have a virtual environment called base so uh, let me go to code back uh right so now uh, again let me switch to this directory right so now uh, i'll i'll show you the basic configurations okay so these are these are all the basic configurations right so you can able to see the image path was derived directly from by default from uh, data kitty test images and model was stored in kitty right so if you want to check the models just go to model and uh, you can able to see so there are uh, four different pre trained models one is for depth analyze analysis another one is for post and post encoder and for encoder right so and uh, these are all some uh, default configurations right so i just go i am just going to use only uh, kitty right i am not going to use new scenes right so let me execute this right so d colon so python <coughs> it will take some time because it has to uh, take a 2d image and again it has to render back and uh, again it has to project the same in uh, three dimensional so that's the reason it is taking some time so and again i do have a very low end graphics card 1650 not even ti so that's the reason it is taking a bit time so if you have a enough or decent card like titan or titan series or right or uh, or tesla k series you can go there, go for a faster execution so it is going to process my image kitty test image this image so it is processing just give me a minute yeah so uh, this is the this is the complete uh, 3d projected one so can you can you able to see the same i just transformed the same image right so which got projected in uh, uh, 2d in 3d perspective right so it's 360 degree you can able to so this is how uh, the metaverse is going to right so you can able to see i i can even even open my uh, 2d and i can show you the image right so this is my data kitty images and this is the two dimensional image so this is how they are going to transform whatever the data which you are going to submit for metaverse right so that that's all about the complete see they are going to create the entire second uh, world right of a real life what we are having now so it is again few few days after they will go for a data collection because they have to model the whatever we have in google maps the exact three dimensional view they'll they'll go they are going to right 
even you can create your own uh, see for example in real life if you can't able to build your home in metaverse you can build it so right so even they have an option for you to upload the content and it will be more of an open one that that's how it is going to right so when it comes for a transformation that this is how you can right so can you able to see the uh, how the two dimensional uh, 2d space gets projected into a three dimensional projection even even you can able to see the point cloud has been removed right so it completely goes with only the context of a th three dimensional thing so uh, can someone acknowledge me is, are you are you getting it or can you yeah, able so, to infer so. right so that's how the metaverse is going to operate right so this is this is one of the typical example right so i just want to share with you so the next thing is i want to share you some other uh, additional information like uh, artificial intelligence can generate all these things right so it can able to generate a chemical it can able to generate a game it can generate a human it can generate a materials how many of you aware of this how many of you aware of this the capability of artificial intelligence okay i'll uh, just give me a minute how about chemicals sir yeah yeah just a minute mama I'll, I'll i'll show you i'll show you i'll show you <clears throat> So can you able to see? Uh, I'm confused with the gender. <laughs> I think uh, she is a woman of in between ten to fifteen years. I'm not sure about the age. Can you can you able to see my screen? Uh, yes, sir. Visible. Can, sir. Some, can someone uh, acknowledge me? Visible, sir. It's uh, it's visible, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Right. So I'll uh, refresh again. So let me check for the other image. Uh, again, uh, one more. A man. He is man. I now I can able to differentiate. He is a man of age between uh, forty-five to fifty. Again, again a kid, right? So you know these are all computer generated. So these these person does not exist in the real world. to be to be honest these persons does not exist in the real world it these are all a generated images a generated humans to be frank so how how much precision it has can you able to differentiate no yes or no can someone acknowledge me the precision level was very minute right you can't say that it's a computer generated it's a real one surprised now ai is going to surprise you right so not only this i'll i'll show you something else so this ah, this chemical does not exist i think uh, they removed just a minute i'll uh, i'll check it out yeah this chemical this lyrics this snack this chair this meme yeah this chemical so oh sorry i i just want to show you uh, these many things are there right so this person does not exist cat does not exist rental does not exist including your waifu character wow you are all startups resume emotion you can see now ai is going to generate a emotion for you right it's completely weird thing it seems to be weird but it's reality right so now if you look at the chemical right so think look and think about the bondings AI perfectly bonded a chemical, right? A, typ a typical example is so when when I, when I'm listening to uh, yesterday yesterday's talk about about uh, uh, the role of computer vision, right? So Hari is completely explaining uh, about uh, the biomedical how how uh, the AI plays a very major role uh, in in uh, COVID situations, right? So you know the average time for uh, uh, generating or average uh, time for uh, uh, inventing a vaccine. before ai let us take the time period of before ai and after ai okay so before ai how long it takes for av average invention for for inventing or discovering not inventing so i it's not a it's it's just a right so i'm not going to materialize it so let it let it be like a, how how long it will take for, to discover a vaccine for any di disease go for a trend analysis for a chicken pox pox 
measles so averagely average it takes 15 to 20 years but how long it took for generating a vaccine or how long it took for discovering a vaccine for your covid a live example real really they used artificial intelligence computer vision lot of stuff to understand by means of your lot of a huge amount of data and finally they were successful as well right that's how it goes on so this is this is a typical example of this a typical example of a chemical right so even 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 it can generate you you can look at the bondings and all right so if, even i can refresh i it, it will generate a new 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 chemical i am not a chemist so i don't know what exact these things are saying but on inferring the particular model the bonding was perfect because everything was interconnected i know that level so it is correct the model was correct whatever the chemical which it bonded right so whether it works or it does not works doesn't matter but based on the property it generated the chemical right so not only this a can generate a lyrics for you a can write a letter for you a can clearly craft a mail for you based on your pattern right so these are all some of the lyrics you can you can uh, give the topic you you can give the gender you can give the mood if you feel sad ai will give you a sad lyrics if you feel happy <laughs> ai will generate a happy lyrics for you right if you want to have a pop rap or country or whatever flavor you want or if you want to rock ai can give you a solution for each and everything all you need is just listen to the machine that's what it is going to happen and that's what happening now itself so you are witnessing you are witnessing the real time model which is on execution i'm just showing you just a demo of what exactly it is right that's how it is going on right so even 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 a can generate a snacks for you right <laughs> so right you give you give a machine with all the uh, ingredients and the model as the machine to generate a snack which is completely going to be unique right you start your own restaurant right so these are all the snack which is generated by ai right you can advertise like that but uh, how it tastes we don't know but even you can even you can remodel it even you can synthesize you from the trend from the feedback you can you can able to again remodel and you can retrain the more retrain the system in such a way that it day by day it can improvise itself it can optimize itself that's how it is going on that's how it is going to be also right so vessels it can generate a vessel it can generate a meme food right horse plenty plenty of examples right so again a is in politics also <laughs> right so see how how much how many how many things i can able to show you right so not only here right so you know uh, ai is also there in your dress modeling this outfit does not exist dot com right so these this is a this is a typical example of outfit right so but this outfit is not in the existence right so you can able to see see how it generates a dress outfit and even it placed accurately to a model and it is generating an image with the outfit and it is displaying how accurately it is so this outfit does not exist see the pose see the dress right look at the context of the particular model based on the context it is generating outfit it is really cool for a fashion designer right it is really cool for a fashion designer right so think about a application which comes with a reality right so even uh, when 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 you when you want to bring this into reality you can develop a app you can integrate this particular model into your app and you can generate the dress and on the customer experience you can overlay the text textual information or augment the information as a overlay information and then you can display market value goes higher right so generate your own cosmetics that is also solution for that right so instead of uh, trying right so for example if you if there are a lot of cosmetics available for women especially right and again wardrobes right so you know average time for a men to select a dress is just 5 seconds for example i have my colleague who is sitting near to me dr sudhakar elango who is one of the finest talent in vidab right so if i see a shirt which i likes right so i i never hesitate i'll if if i saw the same shirt in the showroom i'll purchase it takes only 5 5 seconds for me to design but when it comes for a woman yeah average time period was 45 minutes 
the brain goes to their wardrobe when she saw the same dress right so she won't purchase because it was already available with if if it is available with with uh, any of their friends right they never purchase it's it's i'm, I'm not uh, talking about uh, <laughs> i'm not dominating or i'm not it's a reality i'm talking about the reality that's the reason why when you go for purchasing a dress for a man it takes only 30 minutes you can return back to home but when it is again for a woman it takes decade just for fun <laughs> okay so hardly it will take 3 to 4 hours because i am self experiencing the same okay so really right so wardrobe you can again uh, uh, develop a application which can uh, query your friend listing your facebook and from the facebook friend list right so whether the, the whether the same dress is available within your friend circle or not you can estimate and again even if you like it you can or else yeah he will generate a dress for you place the order the company will again create a dress like that and it it can send you that is going to be the future customize your own dress you don't need to have the existing one customize your own dress yeah he will generate a dress for you if you like or else until you like ai will give you a lot of inputs that's going to be the future right so it's it's really surprising right so not only this right so i will like i would like to show you one more thing also so uh yeah <coughs> multi level pixel aligned implicit function for high resolution 3d human digitization right so this is one of the finest uh, uh ai model generation framework by facebook okay so now uh i'll take a yeah, man yeah okay i'll i'll go with women yeah women standing pose okay so a yeah, women standing pose i can get a lot of women standing pose i'll uh, shortlist okay so let me take uh, any one decent image so i think this image is very decent right i'll take this image in a new tab I, okay okay so fine so since you have you, you have attended two weeks of uh, uh, fdp exclusively on uh, mixed reality right so i'd like to ask you a question how long it will take for you to generate the same model of this women in 3d using any any of your tool 3d max or maya or unity how long it will take unity you can you can create asset but it is a bit tough or else i can say blender maya or 3d max cinema 4d how long it will take for generating a 3d model for the same woman which i am displaying here for this image how long it will take so just give me a rough estimate how long it will take are you there ma'am Ma'am, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, you are audible. Ma'am, could you please someone? So they are actually muted. I can, I think they will give it. They can give the answer in the chat. Or, or else you, there is a chat option, right? If they can chat. Yeah, yeah. Not an issue. So if you feel comfortable, you can unmute yourself. You can talk to me. Otherwise, you can put it in the chat. So how long? Give me a rough estimate. How long it will take for creating a three D model for this woman? ai will generate see that's the reason I, i was just want to talk on this particular topic combination of artificial intelligence and computer vision not only stick to a specific domain it is for open any domain wherever you can have a solution with a the camera there comes the option of ai and cv right a simple okay i i got some message one hour okay it will take one hour for you to generate that's great jayanti ma'am so now i'll generate within a minute okay so uh, this is this is a, a simplified version of the same uh, model which i am talking about right it's open source you can uh, anyone can download it and you can make use of it i'll let me connect to my notebook uh, okay fine so i think uh, i have to disconnect here okay i'll go for managing the session i'll terminate yes okay now there is no active session let me connect to this particular session okay
Okay, now now I got connected. Let me check my runtime. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Actually, I should not do this. Uh, I think I disconnected my runtime. No. Okay, I'll save. Now, now my runtime is on GPU. So now let me go for execution. So again, it will take some time. Give me some time. Let it get completed. So uh, before that, I'll uh, do one thing. So I'll uh, load this image to my notebook file. Okay. Yeah, so now it got executed. So finally, what I can get is I can get the OBJ file. The final 3D file, I can get it. Very simple. So how long it takes? Not more than two to three minutes. But uh, if you are doing the same in uh, 3D Max or Maya or Blender, it takes more than one hour. One hour if you are having a very good experience. Okay. So for basic beginners, it will take a day or two days for generating the same model, the same model which I have displayed here. Right. So I think uh, if it is useful for you, you can make use of this particular model. So those who are working on, uh, you can able to see here, perfectly generated model, right? E see, I'm using a pre-trained model. So even if you want to generate the hand pattern, because this here in this image, the hand was not visible, it's hidden, right? But when you are having, sorry, when you are making the model to, rotate in 360 right so that's the reason why it it goes off way even if you can retrain and you can regenerate the hands also if a hand is missing 
you can regenerate not regenerate you can generate and you can add to your model see how exactly it looks like very accurate right very accurate so you can be able to see the complete property so not only women any 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 anything anything any object any animal object also it is possible right so if you uh, if you want uh, to have this particular notebook file so you can google it or else uh, i can share you this particular notebook file not an issue right so the next uh, uh, important thing is artificial intelligence uh, will help you in uh, shadow generation also right so uh, for example right so i'll show you some use case so this is one of the famous uh, data set so augmented reality shadow land right so <clears throat> so if uh, if you look at here right so the, all the object has a shadow right so now if you look at this particular objects right so it's 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 having a light source but you added a augmented object here but this augmented object does not have its reflection or it's had shadow sorry not reflection it, it's shadow yes or no ma'am uh, can someone reply me back quickly because i am i'm not yes, sure yes, whether yes. yeah right so now uh, now when 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 you want to make the things into reality right so for example if you are generating a game augmented reality game right so the shadow and these things are one of the main property right so when you place a particular object into a virtual world or virtual environment that particular object should also has the same property like the virtual objects which are already there right for those it's a predefined but when it when you are generating right like this how you can make sure that for at least you don't go for a multiple light source take a single light, light source directional light let us take as a directional light so for that how will you generate a shadow so here can you can you able to find the light source on this on this two objects from where it is hitting so it is from here it goes from here right so that's the reason why the shadow was here now we are going to see how these uh, light source uh, uh, how the shadows are generated for the augmented objects right so that's what we are going to see now so for that uh, i'll be using again uh, my i'll terminate this session because i have to use the other notebook i'll terminate here let me close this and i'll open my ar shadow gan one right so yeah i think so i i am right to go now mm yeah let me mount it first so i'll uh, i can show you the ar shadow gan right so this is the data so this is the data so can you able to see uh, the augmented objects here so the light source from here it does not have this is the augmented object but it, it does not have the shadow now we are going to generate the shadow for this this is the augmented one no shadow no shadow so for this four image so here this is the object this is the augmented one no shadow so now we are going to generate right we are going to generate the shadow for all these images right and i am just going to show you a demo right yeah connect to google drive so now it will uh, ask me to authorize let me authorize <clears throat> so now i'll select my tensorflow version 1. Point. okay so now i'll go for execution Yeah so now uh, all of my four images got processed let me go to my output folder so in output folder 
you can able to see so how the object right so how the object shadows and everything so this is all some object shadows now if you look at the particular image right so you can able to see the shadow generated by the gan by a model so object shadow shadow no shadow right so which means that even if you are placing or if you are augmenting a model in real time right right so in your virtual environment or in a metaverse right so the model can look realistic with all the characteristics what you have already pre configured can be generated or can be loaded in your dynamic objects also right so for this this is the this is the typical example so this is one of the gan model called ar ar shadow gan right so if you want i can share you the code also not an issue right so the next thing i would like to show you is i i think i have okay i have only 13 minutes of time so i'll just go quickly so this is one of the application which we developed for furniture so mixed reality with haptics right so here uh, you can able to uh, using our app you can able to uh, place a furniture in your home and you can uh, even you can have a interaction with those objects for example you can drag you can drop you can lift book you can uh, uh, experience what exactly a real object is the same thing you can right so that is what the highlight of this particular app and uh, we have a exact working model of it right so these are all some i'll go for a quick glance so this is this is one thing i would like to uh, show you demo but uh, how uh, a yeah, artificial intelligence uh, can create a deep fakes even it can uh, simulate your voice what i am talking now uh, using my recorded video or recorded uh, audio session it can generate uh, okay fine so uh, it will take again it will take a lot of time so i'll just go quickly so uh, these are all some of the robots which we built in our uh, vit so this is the robo vishu right so it is the first academic 3d printed robot so right so <clears throat> so right so it has uh, advanced computer vision so it can recognize 100 plus object accurately uh, it has a voice agent also up to fourth order query it can for authentication it has face recognition and tracking so it can operate with shadow mode also for example you can integrate kinect technologies like kinect or sensors like kinect ymote or uh, uh, leap and you can operate and it, it has a support for bca also so this is a typical example so this is how the vision looks like so this is uh, one of the professor dr nandish kumar right so this is the vision of visu so how it uh, recognize the object and how it you can able to see the information overlay on it right and if you want to know more about it you can read our paper which got published in iwi consumer electronics of impact factor 3.7 you can just look into this if you want this is one of the use case we used uh, our visu for crowd surveillance also if you want to know more about this you can and if you want to know about the hardware hardware how we created and how we uh, developed and uh, what are the things right you can uh, look into our paper which got published in journal of scientific and industrial research right so these are all my students right so i think i just want to cover a lot but i couldn't so these are all some of my student publication so we have paper in iwi transactions also so i just want to explain this particular model but oh, okay fine so i i can last 10 minutes i can have a question q and a thank you thank you so much for listening <clears throat> so if you have any questions i am open for questions you can ask me so whatever the open part i can share you the code not an issue but uh, the proprietary uh, i can't the participants you can put your queries in the chat oh hello akilam can you give can you give the feedback so how how the session was it's good or yeah actually it is very very nice to have you sir it is really very informative session 
Okay. And also very energetic presentation, sir. <laughs> I think you made us to sit at one place. And Good thank evening. you so much, sir. Yeah, you have given well. me uh, many insights on Industrial Revolution 4.0 uh, and with the uh, use cases on cybernetics. Mm -hmm. And also the thing you have shared about the site, uh, this does not exist. It's very, yeah. really an amazing yeah. one. And uh, to be honest, it's really very informative and uh, very nice. So we enjoyed a lot, even now. Okay. Uh, Hope everyone yeah. enjoyed, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. Because thank you know, sir. right? Uh, so uh, one and a half hours is not sufficient for me to handle all this. Because yeah, yeah. These are all some of the use cases. These are all uh, uh, the things which we are doing in our research lab. So I just want to cover, but I couldn't. So kindly, if you please share the PPT, then we will look into that, sir. Oh, uh, I said you right. So a few things are proprietary. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, sir. No problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank but, you. But uh, the, the source codes and all, I can share you. Not an issue. You make your make yourself. Fine, fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Participants' feedback link is given in the chat. Please kindly fill it. So you may leave, sir, if you want. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm just dropping the call. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Ma could you please send me the recordings? Sure, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yes, ma'am. All right, sir.